There is one stock plugin inside of GarageBand that will fix so many different problems for you guys. And I don't think a lot of you know about it. So this video goes out to anybody who has recorded a mono signal, but when you listen back, it's only coming out of the left-hand side. I'm gonna teach you how to fix that. This video is also for anybody who has used two microphones to record a stereo sound. However, one of those microphones might be out of phase. This plugin will fix a phase issue too. This will also be good news for people who have recorded signals improperly and need to get you know either more or less gain out of it just need to be able to control the gain but also more specifically this is going to be really good for people who are trying to figure out how to attenuate the input signal inside of the compressors this one plugin does a lot of these things so i'm going to show it to you today here on garageband and beyond so I'm going to start with the first thing that I listed off there. I recorded a mono source. However, GarageBand was set to stereo. So when I push play, it's only coming out of the left hand side. Now there's actually two ways to fix this. The first one I'm going to show you is the plugin. Okay. So this is the utility plugin, the only plugin in the utility window, the lonely little gain control. So let's open the menu. You'll see it right away. It's the first thing. Boom. Convert to mono. Oh my gosh. Boom. So now when I do it, um, oh, oh, let's play it without it. First, only coming out of the left-hand side. Check. One, two, three. I'm going to turn this on. Check, check, check. One. Comes out of both sides. Oh, that's it. Okay. So that's a really, really easy thing to do, obviously. Now, you would have set up GarageBand as a mono source originally as you, you know, before you recorded rather. Um, however, if you have this problem, the actually quickest and easiest way to fix this um, is right here, the input. If you go to the right of the input, you see these two rings, that is indicating a stereo channel. If you click on it once, it goes to, it goes to mono. And so it'll do the same exact thing, um, but it depends on what you've recorded, if this will or will not work sometimes. But anyway, so here, so here it's in stereo, so you'll hear it only in the left. Check, one, two, three, now, if I stop it, click it, both check, 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 one. That's technically the easiest way to, to switch this problem. However, what you do want to make sure you're doing is setting that control before you push record, okay? You just got to know, is your microphone stereo? No, then you want to record a mono source. Are you recording a stereo microphone? Yes. Use stereo. Using two microphones? Yes, use stereo. <laughs> Pretty simple, okay? But understand that most microphones are mono unless otherwise indicated as stereo microphones. Now, the other part of this that I want to discuss is if you have recorded signals that are either too hot or too low, this plugin will work very well in this particular case, okay? So let's um, listen here. I've recorded something that I consider very hot. This might look like something you have seen a lot. Um, one thing I do need to correct myself, I've been misinforming you guys for many years on what these numbers are indicating. I had an article come out in Recording Magazine this this month, actually. So go out and buy Recording Magazine. Um, I wrote a long article about GarageBand in it. Um, but these numbers here on the left-hand side, the editor down there was kind enough to correct me. He's like, hey, those aren't dB measurements. Those are percentages. Um, so we're talking about, um, a, a huge apology. I've misinformed you guys over the years. I just didn't, honestly, just didn't know. So I just sort of figured it was db measurements that didn't make any sense why they didn't correlate but i made a mistake anyway they are percentages okay so what you're looking at here is i have filled up pretty much 99 percent, if not a hundred percent of it in certain cases so this is way too much if i watch the meter as i push play on this watch this meter check 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 hey 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 whoa check 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 yeah way too much yellow way too much in the red Okay, so up here we have a signal strength that we like. Um, look, look at it in the editor. All right, so here we go. So if I ram this up to the side here, you will see that pretty much my signals are living between 25 and 50 percent, um, but not really going over 50 at all. And I generally try to like, you know, live closer to 25 than 50. But again, 50 percent is going to be the maximum that you really want. I'll push play again and again, read the meter here. Check, check, check. One, two, three, check, check. Okay, so that's what you want your meters to look like. A little bit of yellow, zero red, um, plenty of green, obviously. You don't want your signals to be too low. All sorts of problems come with that. Now, let's come down here and actually fix a problem, okay? So we're going to come to this, and we are going to say we are, let's look at the editor again. So let's say we are about 50% overboard, okay? So that means we're going to come to the gain control, going to turn her on. We're going to bring it down, let's say, let's start with, 5 dB. Let's just start. Actually, I think I can type this in. I'm going to say negative 5, and let's watch it. 
check, check. Hey, 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 whoa, check, 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 yeah. All right, so that's already better. Could probably come down to, let's say, negative seven. And again, this is gonna be something you experiment with, but this is how you wanna set up your, uh, the first stage of your mastering channel, for example. You wanna use this plugin to control uh, the amount of signal going into those mastering plugins. Also compressor, you definitely wanna make sure you're sending the right signal strength to your compressor or else the compressor will not work properly, okay? So again, you're gonna drop this into the very first slot in your plugin window and you're just gonna sit here and control it until this meter is reading what you think looks proper based on what I'm telling you today, okay? Uh, let's go back. Whoa, check, 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 yeah. So I think that's probably pretty good. Um, that looks pretty good to me. So around negative seven dB is what worked for me here. It's gonna be different for everybody's recording, but this is basically the premise of bringing down a hot volume. And, and, and inversely, it'll be the same process for bringing up a low volume, but you, bringing up low volume stinks because the signal to noise ratio gets totally messed up and, and you start turning up the, the noise as well as the signal with low recordings. So just try not to record too low. Um, so that's pretty much it for today. I didn't want to make a long video, but this is a seriously powerful plugin that you should probably know about. And I hope that you are learning from me. So you guys check me out on Instagram, find me on Facebook. I answer questions as quickly as possible. I try to answer every single comment left on my channel. If I can, if I know the answer, I will answer. If I don't know the answer, I won't answer. Um, but anyway, you guys, thank you for watching. Thanks for the support. I appreciate all of it. And hit the subscribe button, notification button, blah, blah, blah. You hate hearing all of that stuff. I know. Um, you know, you know, there's probably videos popping up around my head. Nobody ever clicks on these videos here at the end, my end card. So, you know, if you feel like clicking on one of these end card videos, do it. All right, you guys, have a great day. Friday, we're talking about acoustic treatment in your studio, what you really need. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. Peace.